Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another banger with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, and go comment, man. This is my uh, week five predictions, uh, Raven versus Colts. Um, if you have any questions, any statements you'd like to address, uh, feel free to do so. I'll be looking to uh, to respond to those. And, yeah, let's get on with the video, man. So we have the, um, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Indianapolis Colts. And uh, this, this is going to be another tough hitter coming into this week. You know, it's week five, the season going along, and uh, Lamar's got to keep doing what he's doing. Uh, just keep aggressing, you know, believe in your receivers. And I'll try to mix some things up coming into this week. So I understand the Colts defense is pretty uh, heavy. You don't want to sweep on the team. And you definitely don't want to um, get caught with any team like a team like Indianapolis that's pretty much trying to find themselves of having a better season. So um, it's pretty interesting to see how far that can go. And uh, this is going to be a, another great game. This, this is a, uh, a Monday night game, so we will not play Sunday. So I'm used to saying my Ravens play Sunday, so we will not play Sunday, unfortunately. And um, it's going to be interesting, man. I'm waiting to see, see my, uh, my Ravens get, get back in action. Coming off a good win from, um, you know, Sunday before against the Denver Broncos. Um, the game started out pretty competitive, but after a certain time, after, like, what, the second quarter, third quarter, the game just went downhill. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely excited for the Ravens. And um, also want to give a congratulations for the Ravens. I'm definitely going to touch on the topic with the Ravens having over 100 yards. And Lamar just keep bringing it on. I know Lamar likes to run the ball, but he know that he has to kind of switch it up. You know, so especially against a, a team like um, and that was close. They're definitely known for their run defense, and um, you definitely want to trust in your wide receivers. If all trust in your wide receivers, I don't, I don't think it uh, it prevents you from uh, you know it, it prevents you from winning these games that you really need to win. You know, and uh, we we have a good record so far. We three and one. I believe that we AF we first in the AFC North, so we looking good. We in a good situation. Uh, a lot of people counted you out, Lamar. And also, you had over 300 passing yards, man. Even though we had all these injuries been getting the season, but guess what? It's getting better and better. We got Rashad Bateman coming back real soon. The receivers starting to click now, so I'm glad that the Ravens receivers are starting to uh, to catch up and uh, you know and keep moving forward as the uh, season progresses. And also, uh, congratulations to the uh, the rushing yards uh, record. So we're tied. Num we're tied number one with the um, with the 1973 Steelers. Through uh, 1974, so um, Raiders are in a good situation. We're tied in, and I, I think Raiders are looking forward to break that record once again. Over 100 yards a game. That's a, that's not that's kind of hard to do, and uh, I'm glad the Ravens are focused, and uh, that helps win these games when you, uh, especially our style of play, like running the ball, time possession. I think Baltimore definitely has his own uh, running style of play, and uh, and by us having that with the guys we have and these veterans stepping up, like Latavius Murray. I know Le'Veon Bell was a little scrubbish, but he, I think he can come back and not be better than what he was before in the last game. I know he's number 17. <laughs> What's up with these players that's coming from the stairs? Look at number 17. It's Mike Wallace. Now it's Le'Veon Bell. What a coincidence. But uh, <laughs> back to what I was saying, man. Yeah, definitely want to shout out to the uh, – to Lamar Jackson and uh, the running backs, you know. Unfortunately, we don't have our running backs to start this year, but um, the veterans are definitely holding down, man. And uh, you know what, veterans and experience. So I guess, you know, we have the guys that's willing to bounce back and get their careers in, uh, in our journey. So I'm glad everybody, everybody contribute. You know, it's not like a, I got all these yards. Maybe we just help, you know, contribute all the yards they can get as far as rushing, and I like that. And that's a very good thing to have when it comes to the team at the Baltimore Ravens. And uh, that's great, man. And Justin Tucker keep doing his thing with those field goals, holding us down. So the field goals definitely been a key factor as well. So um, I hope Justin Tucker, Justin Tucker will be always ready for us to help win this game. So, yeah. Like I guess he has having like over 150 yards, 120 yards, something like that. That's cool. That's interesting. And also, I want to mention, like I said, we're going to get Rochard Bateman back. It's going to be an interesting season for the NFL. Um, we're coming into week five. Week five, and uh, and also a uh, shout out to uh, Marquise Brown for stepping. Up. Everybody just stepped up, man. Shout out to you guys and um, the defense. Definitely want to touch on the defense. Defense is pretty decent. Um, they they showed out last week. They got to Teddy Bridgewater. They was just punishing that guy, man, making this guy look like a. I ain't. Gonna, I'm not gonna say look like him, but they kind of got him. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's music in the background. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, um, they kind of got him in the background. They kind of, <laughs> they kind of, um, you know, took him out for the half of the game. So he has a concussion. And uh, once you hit that concussion protocol, 
I thank you out for like another, uh, what, he's me out for like another week and a half or so. So uh, prayers I go to Teddy Bridge right on the game of football. It comes with injuries, and it sucks. So uh, like I said, man, prayers I go to hell. I don't wish nobody to get hurt in the game of football. So that's not, that's not, that gets confused right here. I, I know I want to see team, other opposing teams lose and get defeated and get their butt kicked, but another one's injuring a player. So, yeah, that, we gave it to him, man. Odofe Alway, he's stepping up like he always do. And I'm glad he's doing a great job, you know, for the city of Baltimore, him and Progress as a player. And, uh, yeah, pretty good. And Progress as a player. And uh, I'm glad that he's doing that and he's moving forward. And the defense is clicking, man. I know we started off pretty sluggish. We didn't have our stars. We didn't have our guys that we usually have with us, you know, all the starting people. And, and the Ravens doing a good job of just having these guys and substituting them and, and helping us win these games, man. Great job. Play like a Raven. That's really – that's really the thing when it comes to Baltimore Ravens. Play like a Ravens. We do a great job of just bringing that to the table. And uh, and let's not forget that uh, we finished when we started. You know, we got to finish the season strong. Um, the defense is going to get better. I know we not the best, highest ranked in the NFL at all, which I think we are very underrated when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. And, uh, yeah, man, it's interesting to see what happens next. Um, hope the defense can definitely, uh, you know, get better and uh, shut down these teams. Whole team under 10 points. We shouldn't allow no team to have no higher points than that at all. I'll say about at least about 17 or something like that for the score of the Baltimore Ravens. So, like I said, the score is going to be a tough one. I'll say about 27. I'll say about, what, 27 or 14, something like that. So, it's definitely going to be a tough one with the Baltimore Ravens. So, uh, like I said, Lamar's going to be focused. He's definitely going to be good to go. And I think that he's, he's ready, man. Lamar's definitely ready to bring his A game to the table. And uh, John Harbaugh, um, he never falls under pressure. We was cool, calm, and collective. So, um, like I said, just don't get comfortable with the Indianapolis Colts because uh, they're looking forward to getting their win. We got to keep going, man. We got to win out. We definitely got to win out and stay strong. So, um, like I said, we had a great, great game yesterday. I enjoyed it. And now I'm going to give you guys the... Uh, my my, uh, my predictions for the uh, Ravens week five against the Indianapolis Colts. Any info in the comment section, feel free to do so. Um, if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, hit that comment section. Um, I'm out with the world. Um, you folks have a blessed one. Stay safe. And um, that's about it. I'm out with the world. And uh, like I said, um, I definitely give you more videos. If you check my video, hit that playlist. Please do so. And I'll uh, be out, man. Peace.